This is Easy Work Box. I'm about to hit you everywhere but under your feet with this one. Please like and comment and subscribe to the videos. Most of all, please subscribe to the videos. That's most of all what I need you to do. All right, uh, this video is not going to be on no particular subject, but it's going to be about boxing. I could have went live, but then I realized a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, are probably uh, sleeping and getting their rest on for their next day of slavery, which I call work. <laughs> Because me, I worked 12 hours a day myself, but I had to get on here and get y'all something. You know, if it's just talk or if it's just something that's real, hiding the news of boxing. And right now, ain't really nothing going on. Everybody really just talking about fighting certain people, you know, so ain't really nothing to talk about. But uh, one of the main subjects I want to talk about is clickbait. And it's something that bothers me. This is why I don't make, I don't just make videos daily and, um, uh, and I saying that everybody who does do that makes uh, clickbait videos, but I still watch other guys' videos and I still go to my favorites sometimes. And it's not none of my favorites like seventy eight. This guy is not this guy who is doing this is not an LDBC member at all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not throwing shots at seventy eight, blood box, and casual box, and money brown. You know, and I'll buy some cleaning, all the rest of them. I'm not throwing shots at them. This is a, this is a particular dude who I see do this because I have hit several clips of his, expecting to hear one thing, and I haven't heard none of what I wanted to hear. It was a totally different interview. But you know, what I'm saying this guy got a lot of uh, subscribers. This ain't no hate. I'm just talking about boxing, and you know, what I'm saying a lot of bullshit that's even going on with the YouTube shit. And I'm going to boxing too, but I'm just saying the YouTube shit, you know, people who get on here and speak of, you know, a lot of people using that clickbait shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to get y'all that. I know I don't be on here every day and all day like that. You know what I'm saying? I had to really find something that interests me to talk about, you know, and, um, especially since I don't have the right equipment and things like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I I can't edit and I can't do certain things that I like to do. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather just get on here and find something to talk about or get y'all something to talk about. But my main subject, like I said, was that clickbait. That shit is getting out of hand. You know, people are hitting your videos expecting to hear and see a certain thing about boxing. And then it's an interview from two months ago just speaking the person's name. You know, that's bullshit. And that's, that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Even as someone who watches your videos or one of your subscribers or people who just get on YouTube and want to see a certain type of clip that you had under your, um, under your video. And then when they get on it, it's a whole total. That's wrong. I don't like that. That's one thing I don't like about it. The, uh, this is going to be more about unboxing. And I've been meaning to say something about this, especially with Clarissa Shields. Uh, she's being dis very disrespectful to say she's the greatest female boxer of all time already. When you got people like Ann Wolf and Layla Lee, Ann Wolf was a champion in five different weight classes, and yet you run around, which you have talent, Clarissa, but to be running around yelling that you are the best of all time right now is female boxer of all time right now is ridiculous. You know, you need to wait when you're getting close to your career, when you down to like Floyd was at 43-0 and 0 or some shit like that. You just got knocked on your ass from an uh, uppercut you didn't see. You know, which don't mean nothing. You know, all the greats have been knocked on their ass and have lost. But I'm just saying, for you to be that cocky right now, you need to calm the fuck down. Because for one, You ain't fighting Ann Wolf or no or Tatiana Tati Tatiana Ali, whatever the fuck her name. <laughs> you ain't fighting either one of them. So until you be able to fight them, you can't say that you the best of all time. You probably say you the best of who doing it right now, but to totally disrespect them ladies like that and just say that you the best of all time when you just really got into the game of boss and you just got overcut and got dropped on your ass. Now you the best that ever did. Come on now. That's very disrespectful. You know, um, which I, um, I think Clarissa Shields is a great female boxer. I'm not dissing her. It's not that I dislike her or nothing, but we just being real. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck are you? You know what I'm saying? To say that when you got people like Ann Wolf, you know what I'm saying? Who Tatiana Ali didn't even want to fight. 
Chris DeMar. You got fighters like that, and this girl saying here talking about she the best. But come on, man. When you get up on their levels, when you start doing some of the fights they did, like motherfucking, uh, what's the one name I just mentioned? Five different weight class champ female. She knocked out a motherfucker that was six nine. And Wolf. And Wolf. And Wolf knocked out a motherfucker that was six nine. And it wasn't no bomb. I think the lady who she fought was undefeated caught her with a right uh overhand right and lay her ass out. The best female punch in boxing, man. And these and she's and Chris she is running around this motherfucker talking about so she the greatest of all time. Go sit your young stupid ass down. Floyd didn't fuck folks head up. Floyd them fuck folks head up to be is these these young motherfuckers too disrespectful. <laughs> That's the only way you got you got to look at these young niggas too disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Don't pay no attention and forget who paved the way. I don't give a fuck where's there, whether it's on the corner, outside. You know what I'm saying? Who paved the way for you to be out here? Or, you know what I'm saying? Be in the way or do what you doing? They show no respect. But I also see my boy Keith Thurman will be coming back, baby. Say uh, he coming back to the States. And you know what I've been thinking about with Keith Thurman? I think Keith, I, it could be a negotiable situation with Keith Thurman. Maybe Keith Thurman is uh, sitting back and trying to tie his time out on his contract. I just thought about the day when I seen the clip. I'm like, Keith Thurman didn't fought too many good fighters to be afraid to lose. You see what I'm saying? And if, if people want to if, just go back and look at it, he has fought too many good fights to be afraid to lose. I believe it's something that he see and he trying to wait his time out. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a fan. I really don't like the wait. I really would love to see him get back in the ring. But I'm just saying that my, it's something. You know, we not inside that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Why you keep waiting, pushing these days back, 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 back? You just trying to get somebody to one, two more fights and be gone. You sign a what five year deal or something. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be saying this that by key, but we don't really know what's going on inside the box. And you know the people who call them out ain't gonna say that that's what's going on. And he's not gonna say that's what's going on because he could get sued or something for even bringing up the situation. But that's what it seemed like to me. You know what I'm saying? I, if you dislike what's going on, you sit out and just wait. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, I signed for five years. You ain't getting no more fights. I'm going to give you one more fight. And then that's it. Yeah, I seen somebody video today. They were saying that Keith Thurman might go to uh, Eddie Hearn. Might be. Could be. Uh, in my opinion, a lot of people should go to Eddie Hearn. Or, uh, well, you, I can't say A-B promotion no more, which I saw that today, too, about the power move Floyd said he made. And I tell y'all that was a power move? You talking all this shit about me and this, that, and the other. Y'all going to jump me and shit, and, and then what, what, what happened? Now I'm your boss. Nigga, I had your ass fighting and motherfucking... The Bronx, <laughs> not the Barclays Center, in the fucking Bronx, say like, rock motherfucker, or like, Rucker Park. <laughs> see, y'all, y'all got why ain't no friends all the time in business. That's why he said I'm going to, like he Floyd said to himself, this was a power move, killer power move. Speaking of Floyd, Floyd Senior, his daddy, is going around shooting girls' clubs up. If y'all know that's what Charlemagne the God be saying, fuck him, I'm not a fan of him. I'm not a fan of none of them niggas. I'm just saying. Charlemagne the God be saying when a girl get pregnant, somebody shot a club up. And he's shooting clubs up. <laughs> uh, Floyd Mayweather Senior just had, uh, I think I got a one-year-old little girl. He just got DNA tested for and they saying it's here. So, uh, time to get them diapers. And, uh, hopefully, your stepbrother will take care of you. But he got another brother, uh, 
I can't think of his brother name right now. Floyd got a brother that box and uh, battle rap. And um, like Floyd don't fuck with him. Floyd don't be in the gym with him. Uh, support him and rap. He don't even mention his brother. Look just like his dad though. Look a little bit like Floyd too. But Floyd got a half brother. If y'all don't know that, Justin Mayweather. That's his name. Justin Mayweather. Go and check him out. Good fighter. Uh, battle rap. Decent battle rap. But, you know, um, eventually if he was to make it to the beat leagues, they'll eat him up because of the fact of him and his brother situation. You know, they'll kill him in bars if you watch battle rap. You know what I'm saying? But Justin Mayweather can fight, too. His dad trains him as well. I don't know where he at. Maybe he didn't stop boxing. Maybe he felt like it wasn't for him. He was just trying to fit into the family sport. But he was boxing. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's one of his children I know of. I didn't know he had any daughters. But he had daughters too. What else? Um, Terrence Crawford. Uh, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, and Keith. These the major four. You know, some people gonna say Errol Spence is higher than Keith Thurman. Um, bullshit. But um, I keep telling y'all the fight that that's gonna be the best fight is Terrence Crawford versus Keith Thurman. To see if Terrence Crawford, I mean, if Keith, if yeah, if Errol Spence run up on Terrence Crawford first, he gonna get his ass whooped. And I don't know how many times I gotta keep saying that. People be looking at me like I'm crazy. Is it? He gonna beat his ass. But most of all, um, Errol Spence. You know, this is a fighter that's out there been calling his name, name Yugis. Uh, the fighter has losses, but losses don't mean you can't beat nobody. And he been calling him out, but yet your boy Aero ain't mentioned his name. That's something I don't hear people talking about. I don't see none of these Aero Spence ass kissers out here uh, making videos about that. Uh, he wants to go and jump out and fight everybody else. Why hasn't he mentioned the guy that's calling him out? You know, I ain't, let, I ain't never seen a, a lion run. <laughs> now, I ain't never seen a lion run. But I really ain't have, you know, too much to talk about on here tonight. I just want to talk about some things going on with boxing. And another thing, another person I'm tired of hearing, besides Anthony Joshua and uh, Deontay Wilder talk. Is from motherfucking Triple G. Somebody should just walk in while Triple G talking on a press conference and just snatch all his motherfucking belts and just say, "Bitch, you good, you good." Whatever belt Canelo got, which I hope he don't got no belt, he need to be stripped. He ain't lending your shit or uh, none of that. They need to strip him of all that. And um. But him and uh, motherfucking Triple G. Triple G ain't fighting no mentors. Triple, me, Triple G said, fuck these young niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm not finna get in there and fight none of these young niggas. Bitch, y'all gonna strip me. Triple G said he do what the fuck he wanna do. But he got he got to get gone. And all these people, oh Kovalev and Marcus Brown. Please do not put your money on no motherfucking Marcus Brown. Please, I already seen Marcus Brown get beat by some dude from overseas, man. Knocked him on his ass, beat on him for for eight rounds, and they gave it to Marcus. Please don't put your money on no Marcus fucking Brown. If Kovalev do decide to fight him, he gonna beat Kovalev. Gonna man, come on, man. And I already told y'all, 